Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to sew a tote bag pattern. A link to the full pattern will be in the description box below. So for my bag, I decided to sew it out of a feed bag. I have chickens and I've got a lot of these feed bags lying around so I thought it would be a fun idea to sew a tote bag. So first things first, cut out some large squares and then you need four of those. That's going to be your bag fabric. You're also gonna need two long rectangles for your straps. As you can see on the bottom of the bag there, I cut out two squares at the bottom of the bag. Doesn't matter how big they are as long as they're the same size on all four pieces. So now with the right sides together, I'm gonna to sew together the bag. If you're using fabric, press that bottom seam flat. I'm using feed bag, so it's very stiff. There's no real reason to press it flat. Then I'm going to sew up the side seams, and now what I'm doing is the corner. So I flatten out that corner uh, pretty much the opposite way that it wants to. So you can see it's a square right now at the bottom of the screen. But after I sew the bottom seam, here's me sewing the bottom from the second, uh, from the lining of the bag, and then I sew up the side seams. And you can see I press out the corners so that the two seams match up. Then I sew it all the way across. So there are four times that we're going to do that bottom, but we're going to leave one of them unsewn. You'll understand what I mean, I hope, in a minute. So then make your straps. If you're doing tubes that you have to turn inside out, that's great. For me, I just folded over the fabric in thirds and did a zigzag stitch down the middle. So at this point, our bag looks like a rectangle and we're going to attach the straps. Just put the straps so that they are down. And like your brain is gonna wanna put the straps facing up, but this is gonna be turned inside out in the end, so it's better off you can see how I've got them facing down. Then, after you've attached both of your straps, one on each side, you put the bag that has the straps inside the bag that doesn't have the straps. The one that has no straps should have one of the corners at the bottom not sewn. So we sewed those nice flat corners at the bottom, but one of them is not. That's gonna be the one that we turn our whole bag inside in, right side in. So at this point, I'm sewing the top seam all the way around. If you're using fabric, give it a double seam. It doesn't matter, it, this is all gonna be hidden. So now I'm taking all the pins out and that bottom corner, which was not sewn, is where we're going to pull the whole bag out. We're gonna just turn it inside out this way. That's hiding all of our raw edges except for the one that we're pulling everything through. It'll leave you with two options. You can pretend that it's not there and just have a hole in the bottom of one side of your bag, or you can finish the seam. But at this point, it looks like a tote bag. So I'm going back around the outside where the straps are, and I'm just going to add another seam or a hem or whatever around that top area of the bag, and that's just going to pull everything together and Bada bing, bada boom, there you go, you've got a tote bag. I know it says cracked on the bottom, but it's a cracked corn bag for my chickens. Put some yarn in there, stress thunder out. And you can see it, it's a nice little strong plastic tote bag. Really easy to make. It definitely took under an hour, probably half an hour to make this. And it's fully lined and reversible. Mine does have a hole on the inside because I didn't finish that seam, but there you go. Thanks for watching. And just a reminder, a link to the full pattern, it's a printable PDF, it's in the video description. And I do want to also say thank you to my patrons for this month. Dave, Lori, Claire, Abigail, Diane, thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. To those of you who don't know that I have a Patreon, I do, and it's also linked in the description below. So check it out if you want to support me and support this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll take a moment to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. And if you did like the video, leave me a comment. Let me know what else I should make with my feed bags. All right, have a great day. Bye.